Hello everyone, welcome to another plan with me. Um, for this week I'm using a kit by Crafts by Towie um, that is called Pumpkin Spice and is so gorgeous. Um, I had ordered this last year um, when I saw, I think it was in a haul from Plan Mosh Plan. Um, I just fell in love with the colour scheme, loved the format. This is not her current format. And I just had to have it. And I'm so glad that I got it. I've been so looking forward to using it this year. Um, I think the florals are absolutely gorgeous. I love the sort of deep, rich wine red colour. Um, it's in gold foil. Um, and it's just extremely autumnal. Um, and I really like it. Sorry again, as usual, if you can hear Wendy walking around. Um, my husband is sleeping off a night shift upstairs. So again, I have to be in the room that I'm in. There's nowhere else that I can go that won't disturb him. Um, but yeah, so Cross by Towie kit, um, absolutely loved planning with it, mainly because I just love the colour scheme. I love the warmth um, of, of the red and of the orange. I think it's super duper pretty. Um, I'm obsessed with her lace circles. Um, and in this kit, it came with three of the half ones, which I absolutely adore. Um, I just I, I just adore her kits. And I, I've said before, her customer service is amazing. She's just, yeah she's just really really wonderful um so i highly recommend checking out her shop um i didn't do fuss with the date covers i used um i'm pretty sure these were from the pretty pink pretty pink co um <clears throat> these sort of foiled washi garlands at the top um, and i'm so happy i used them i think they're absolutely gorgeous and i will absolutely definitely be ordering more um, and then I used a Miss and Meow foiled scallop circle for the month section and I just layered that over one of the um, floral deco circles that came in the kit. And then I used an October script from Sadie Stickers. I've ordered full shoots of those now because I, I think they are just absolute perfection. I, I adore those scripts so much and I use them pretty much every week. There's the odd week where I mix it up a bit. Um, last week I used one from Rose Coloured Days um, and I occasionally use um, the ones from Paper Trail Plans but the ones from Sadie Stickers for me are my absolute favourite. Um, so yeah, for the base of the spread um, I wanted to use all of the full boxes that came in the kit so I used two of them in the sidebar this time and then I used a... Um, what are they called? One of the bow dividers from The Giving Girl. Um, and then I used those to cap off each box, um, all of the full boxes throughout the spread. And then I used a single line divider. Sorry, Wendy's having a bit of a fidget about. Um, a single line divider from Sadie Stickers. Um, I will say, sorry, just to move back on to Wendy a second, I just bought her a jumper. Um, well, my mum, it was an early Christmas present from my mum to Wendy. And it is the most fabulous thing I've ever seen. I will insert a photo of it at the end. Um, I'm obsessed with my dog. She's my world. Um, if that's new information to anyone. Um, but I know not everyone is interested in other people's pets and kids and whatnot. Um, so I'll pop the photo on at the end because it is just the most fabulous jumper. Um, and I think it's adorable. She looks like Shaun the Sheep. And I just... It's the way the little legs stick through... Um, the sleeves just like the skinny little legs I just I just think it's scrumptious <laughs> so I will definitely um, include that at the end if you want to see that um so this week was a bit more of a busier week I know the last couple of weeks have just sort of been work sleep work sleep work sleep um but this week I did actually do a little bit more um so it makes for a bit more interesting plans and I actually made the decision that throughout the spread so whereas sorry that's Wendy again um <clears throat> whereas in the previous week, I'd chosen to do all white stationery icons, which looking at it, I'm so happy that I did because I just think it is so pretty. Um, this week, I chose to do all Crafts by Towie icons because I figured, first of all, you get the icons that come on the add-on sheet. Um, and I have so many other Crafts by Towie icons. Um, I did sub in a couple of my newest addiction icons where I don't have the ones from Crafts by Towie, but I'm going to spend a bit of time building up my Crafts by Towie um, icon selection a bit more um, as I kind of realise what I'm missing. And then I'm going to do the same for white stationery to fill in the gaps um, for what I would usually use Crafts by Towie icons for um, and kind of work backwards from there um, because I'm really enjoying this kind of having... I think the spread looks so much more cohesive. Like if you look at the completed spread for last week, it just all fits. Like when I look at it, it all fits and it looks really pretty. 
Um, and then the same for this week. I'm looking at the completed spread and I just think it all fits because it's all foil and all the icons look the same. And yeah, I don't know. I, I think it looks nicer. I did use a couple of bubble bath icons that I got on freebie sheets. I don't know where they're from. Um, but apart from that, I just wanted to keep it all foiled. And I used a couple of the icons that came in the kit, which obviously match really nicely. Um, so on Monday, I just used one of um, the coffee cups to mark a stressful day. Um, I marked that I went on, I go on a walk every Monday um, with one of my old friends from work. And then um, I just, this was the first week I started doing exercise back after um, my surgery. And um, so I had a Zumba class this evening. So I'm I'm kind of going to shift up what I'm doing, but for this week I did Zumba on Monday and then I had my boot camp class on Wednesday. Um, the Zumba class was actually quite um, hard. I, I was convinced that I had something that was sort of still lodged um, in me somewhere on my right hand side. Um, that pain has gone away now, but when I was jumping around in the Zumba class, it just felt like a, quite a sharp pain. Um, so I don't think I, I actually did much exercise in that Zumba class. It was just sort of like move a foot, move an arm. I didn't really do much jumping or skipping about. Um, and then two weeks notice, I noticed that was on Netflix and I love that film. I'm such a sucker for rom-coms. Um, so I watched that, uh, which was really nice. Then again, probably a bit too much detail. Um, for a lot of people but I took my pill for the last day um on that Tuesday and this is now the next sort of steps um following on from my surgery this is to help with my weight loss and all that jazz um in order to reduce the pressure the water pressure on my brain um so I am um, that was just I just wanted to mark that's like a big milestone for me because I've been taking it for years I mean I've been on some form of hormonal contraception since I was like 13 because my periods were so bad I, I started them when I was about 10 years old um so this is quite a big step this is quite positive um big change so I wanted to make sure that was marked somewhere because to me that's like a really important milestone um then Wendy had a new bed that arrived and I just marked that because that was like a really big deal for me um and then I went walk with a couple of friends that evening and I watched a film called Lou um I wouldn't personally recommend it the lady is famous um and the guy in it is the guy that looks like Tom Hardy but isn't Tom Hardy um <clears throat> so I was thinking it was going to be really good and it was really interesting until the last sort of 15 minutes I've really dropped off um and then on Wednesday so I had three days off of work this week because I somehow I believe it was Providence that I knew that I would need some time off um and I I'm so glad I booked it for those for this week because work was manic um but on Wednesday I ended up being really busy I had two interviews that I had to go all over Bristol for um we met up with a new whippet and Wendy had the absolute best time it was such a wonderful walk and then like I said I had my boot camp in the evening and then I was in bed super early because I was so tired it was such an exhausting day um both Thursday and Friday I was able to make the most of having lions um, and then I went on whippet walks again um, with two of Wendy's favourite whippets on each of the days um, and then I was able to kind of have some planning time I had my Slimming World weigh in on the Friday oh sorry Wendy's just started coughing there we go she's just keeping me on my toes she's absolutely fine <laughs> Um, so yeah, this was kind of my downtime day, uh, was Thursday and then Friday I had a pretty restful day as well. Um, had a bubble bath. We, um, I think we finished Rings of Fire, Rings of Fire, Rings of Power on this day. Um, and then there was a new season of Rick and Morty. So I was just giving that a go. Um, on Saturday was just a family day. I went to see my sister in another hockey match. We all went for a wonderful walk with Wendy, um, and then watched Strictly in the evening. And it was just a really wonderful lovely 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 day it was so nice to see my family and they absolutely loved the walk with Wendy and she's just grown on them so much um then on Sunday we ended up going for a walk with uh, one of Wendy's bestest friends again um and I spent most of the day studying I had sister wives on in the background um and I did start watching the blacklist again I'm starting it from the beginning um and I had a bubble bath in the evening but most of the day was spent studying and trying to get on top of um, the course that I'm doing, which now I, I think I'm on the right track to get everything handed in on time. Um, but that's the completed spread. I hope you enjoyed this plan with me and I will see you in the next one.